Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to understand what is exception handling. Before getting into the technicalities of exception handling, let's understand what is exception in a layman language. Let's say you want to open account in a bank and suddenly one day you decided that today I will go and open my account in a bank. You took appointment from bank employee and he gave you a particular time as an appointment. You were going through your car but suddenly your car stopped working. Now, this is something which was not planned. It was unplanned event that happened and it disturbed your normal flow of reaching to the bank. It actually interrupts your normal planning. So guys, this is what exceptions are. Let's now understand it in a technical word. Exception is an event that disturbs normal flow of the program. That means whatever in a program you have planned, if exception occurs, it disturbs the event then and there. Let's understand now with the help of one of the examples. So I'm going to make one class here. So new class. Let's say name of my class is exception handling, including main method in it. Click on finish. So this is my class. Let's say I wrote one code here. So here int a assign 10, int b assign 0, and here int c a divide b. Terminated with semicolon. I'm not getting any error in it. I've assigned A as 10, I've assigned B as 0, and I'm dividing A with B, and I'm dividing A with B. Let's display the result here. Sys out control space, and I want to display C here. Let's see how it will work now. I'm going to execute it. Look at this. It threw me exception. It's saying Java language arithmetic exception divide by zero. So guys in Java, this is an exception. You cannot divide any number with zero. But this was unplanned. According to me, there was no syntax mistake. There was no error I'm getting over here. At the runtime, it throws me exception. This is called exception. When it is not planned, you normally write your program, but if anything disrupts normal flow of the program, it's called exception. And it must be handled. Because look at this. If I have many line of codes after this, none of the lines will be executed because exception occurred. So this is the issue with exceptions and it must be handled. Now, now let's understand some history of the exception from where it is coming, how we can handle it. As we know guys, Java is an object oriented language and there is a very good relation of parent and child in Java. That is a concept of inheritance. If anybody asks you, who is the parent of any class in Java? Any class in Java which you're creating, it must have some parent. Parent class for any of the class in Java is object class. So object class is parent of any class in Java. Now, for exceptions particularly, object class has a particular class called throwable. Throwable class inherits object class as all the classes in the Java inherits object class. This throwable class is parent of two other classes. So this throwable class is parent of two other class. And these two other classes are exception and error. Let's understand the hierarchy again. Exception and error is child of throwable and throwable is child of object class. Any class which you create in Java has one parent and that super parent is called object class. 
this is a super class now if i talk about exception exception has parent call throughable and error also have the same parent so exception and error can inherit properties from throwable class so this is what the history of exception is very common interview question is what is difference between exception and error because whenever you read this we mostly say oh error is there but this is not error this is exception what is difference in error and exception guys error is something which is not recoverable by programmer so programmer cannot recover the error whereas exception can be handled by programmer if you want to handle this exception you can handle it and you can still continue with the normal flow of the program but if error occurs you cannot handle it which sort of errors are there for example out of memory this is not something which programmer can handle out of the memory stack overflow so these type of messages are called errors whereas when you have exceptions like class not found arithmetic exception null pointer exception all these are exceptions which can be handled by programmer there is one more difference in error and exception error is always at run time that means at the run time you will find out that this is the error you got but exceptions occurs at compile time and run time so this is a difference between exceptions and errors so as a programmer we can definitely handle the exceptions now how to handle exceptions as exceptions are also of two types so guys exceptions are also of two types one we have inbuilt exception inbuilt exception second we have user defined exception so we're going to understand them one by one so first of all let's understand what is inbuilt exception so inbuilt exceptions are those exceptions which are already registered in java that means whenever that exception is thrown it is inbuilt in java that which type of exception message i have to throw so this is inbuilt whereas user defined exceptions means you can customize your exceptions if any of the exception you suspect that this might happen at the time of run time or compile time you can customize those exceptions we're going to do examples for all of them one by one first of all let's understand how to handle exceptions so till now we understood what is exception now we have to handle that exception too how to handle the exception so there is something called try catch block with try catch block you can handle exception you can tell system that this type of exception might happen and please handle it and let rest of my program execute so let's try this let's say this is my code so code which is throwing you the exception code which is throwing us the exception we will keep that code in try block so we'll write try close the try block here and it will follow by catch block and in catch you will write type of exception it might throw so inbuilt exception it might throw you can write that exception here so we know it is throwing arithmetic exception so arithmetic exception and i'm passing variable as e here this is a reference for this start the curly braces here i can write whatever i want to display so let's say system dot out dot print ln exception is handled and here let's say i want to print something else so if exception is handled i will be displayed 
So this line will be displayed only if exception is handled properly. So that's why I've just written, if exception is handled properly, I'll be displayed. So let's execute it and see how it works. See, I got this message. If exception is handled properly, I'll be displayed because exception is handled. This is how you use try catch block. And guys, this is what I was saying that what is the difference in error and exception? We can handle exception, but we cannot handle errors. I cannot handle error by this. But exception, I put it in try catch block, it is handled and rest of my program is working undisturbed. So I can continue with the same flow of program by handling the exception. So this is what exception handling is. If you want JVM to print the exception message also, you can write down E dot print stack trace. Let's see what is gonna display us. So we will execute it. It will display us the exception message even with the line number where it is occurring. So this is what print stack traces. You can get the exception message printed with the complete details, with the line number, where it is there. So if you click on this, this is the line number. Here it is happening. Now, very famous interview question is, can we use multiple catch with one try? Yes, we can use multiple catch with one try. Let's say I'm not sure about the exception message that which exception message will come. So for that, I can use another cache too, that if it is not automatic, then catch other exception. So I'm going to provide name of exception here. Let's say null pointer exception. Name anything. So this is my reference for this exception. Curly braces. Let's say I want to print it. So a dot print stack to print the message. You can use multiple cache blocks with one try. So let's execute this now. See, I can, I get the exception message. This cache block executed because exception, which is thrown by A divided by B is arithmetic exception. And that's why I'm getting that message over here. So this cache block is not executed because exception coming from this try block is not null pointer exception. So this is how we can handle exceptions with try catch block. In the next video, we're gonna understand what are the different types of exceptions like checked exception, unchecked exception, keyword like throw and throws. That's all for this video. Thanks for now.